My name is Brad. I'm here right now with the Hot Mulligan. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Brad? I am great. Introduce yourself. I'm Chris. I play guitar and sing in Hot Mulligan. Wow, 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 wow. So you're on the Knuckle Puck Tour. How is that? It's been good so far. I mean, we're only three days in, but everyone on the tour is super nice, and it's a good lineup, so I'm stoked to be part of it. Cool. And you have that album called Pilot coming out. Coming out. Yeah, yeah. What, uh, tell us about that. How was recording it? Recording it? was a little more stressful than anything we've done in the past. Um, we wrote most of the record in like two days. And then we toured with a band called Safe Face in August and had one day off. And then went to the studio after like having not practiced. But I think what came out is probably our best work so far. So oh I'm good, really good, good, good. I'm excited. I like how it's a change from opportunities. Kind of like it keeps kind of the same style, but changes a lot of the dynamic that you and Tate have yeah. had in the past. Um, what do you think one of the biggest challenges was when recording that record? Ooh, biggest challenges. I would say just making sure we felt comfortable with every song. Because, I mean, we only had like those two days pretty much to write it all before we went out there. So, like, getting back in there and it was almost like relearning everything that we just wrote. So, that was hard to come over, but I think it turned out well. Good, good, good. Wow. What would you say one of your favorite songs off the record would be? Track 10, how do you know it's not armadillo shells? You can model your merch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is fine. But uh, no, it's a good song. I think it's a very... Are you I, for real? I, uh, <laughs> right. I think it's... Uh, I love um, how it's uh, very much so different than... Like, it's uh, more of a risky kind of, like, upbeat hip... Like, I would, I would almost, like... I love how the bass is so loud when you play it live. Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> I like that too. That one, that one's one of my favorites because that one was not one we had when we went into the studio. Oh shit! Okay. And we had we had ten songs, but we knew we should probably have eleven. And when we were in there, we we're like, well, almost every song is in the the same tuning and the same key, and it all kind of sounds the same. So we wanted to change it up, and we just wrote all of it in the studio. And I really like how it turned out. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, with those. Uh, I guess with your tour, what uh, you're obviously on tour with. Knuckle Puck, Boston Manor, um, crazy, crazy lineup. Jetty Bones is amazing. Yeah. Um, and then you guys are playing a tour with Boston Manor. That one's like kind of like on a, like on the way back, right? Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. What? Uh, so there's some pretty heavy, uh, you know, tour lineups. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I'm really stoked on it. I think this tour that we're on right now, the Knuckle Puck tour, is my favorite lineup. I would say I've probably seen since like the Greatest Generation tour. So to also be on the tour <laughs> right, is like, exactly. okay, well, that's crazy. Um, I'm biased because obviously I'm like, oh, that helped Mulligan band is on there. That's sick. But yeah. I love all the bands on the tour, so that's really cool. And same with uh, that Boston Manor headliner that's happening afterwards. Uh, we toured with Save Face in the past, and we've been trying to tour with Home Safe for like a year now, and it just hasn't worked out. So keep it going with Boston Manor and Free Throw and having our friends on there is sick. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, so I guess... What are you looking forward most to in 2018? I'm just touring more. Touring I think, more. Yeah, we've got like a more active schedule than we ever have, so I'm looking forward to just being out on the road more, playing some bigger shows and stuff, you know. It's nice to get more exposure than what we'd have if we were just doing headliners. Cool. So I have one final question, kind of. Um, so last time I interviewed you guys, I asked you if pineapple is, uh, goes on pizza. Okay. Uh -huh. Now this time, I'm going to ask you a question. Is tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Tomato is a fruit, scientifically. My man, my man. So uh, I hate it, though, because <laughs> I love all fruit. I'm like, ooh, fruit, just give me the fruit. I'll eat it all up off the plate. But tomatoes, I don't know. I've come around recently, and I kind of like tomatoes on my, my cheeseburgers and stuff. But like people are like, ooh, I'm just going to eat this cherry tomato, and I don't want that anywhere near me. I can't do it. <laughs> One time someone was eating a bell pepper. Do people do that? Is that a normal thing? I f yeah, yeah. I think my girlfriend eats some peppers and stuff. That's weird to me. I won't do it. <laughs> I don't mess with vegetables too much. So that's why I'm pretty mad that tomatoes even considered a fruit. Cool. So when does Pilot come out? 
March 23rd. March 23rd via No Sleep Records. You can find them. Hot Mulligan on tour with Knuckle Puck and after uh, with uh, Boston Manor in April. And my name is Brad. This has been Chris Freeman. Um, bye. Later. Thank you.